بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد one has to make a decision and choose اهدنا الصراط المستقيم there's only one highway one road that leads to the final destination دين أو دنيا follow my desires my ambitions or submit to the will of Allah and what Allah wants from us to submit to that. Hazrat Sirri Sakti Rahmatullahi say, Lay yakmul rajulun hatta yu'thira deenahu ala shahwati. That if you want to be complete and on the road to perfection, give preference of deen over your desires and your ambitions. وَلَيَّهْلِكَ حَتَّى يُؤْثِرْ شَهْوَتَهُ عَلَى دِينِهِ And your destruction will be caused when you give preference of your desires over deen. So protection is in giving preference to deen. Preservation is in giving preference to deen. Preservation in dunya, preservation in qabr, preservation hashar, preservation in akhirah as well. Abu Bakr al-Warraq say that the primary focal point which a person is destroyed starts when he starts following his desires and ambitions. He doesn't follow the laws of Allah. فَإِذَا غَلَبَ الْهَوَىٰ أَلَّمَ الْقَلْبِ When thus desires overwhelm him, his heart becomes enveloped in darkness. وَإِذَا أَذْلَمَ الْقَلْبِ ذَاقَ الصَّدْرِ When this heart is dark, the chest becomes constrained. And when that happens, سَعَلْ خُلُقِ Then his character becomes spoilt. And when that happens, أَبْغَذَهُ الْخَلْقِ The creation starts despising him. And when that happens, he starts hating them. And when he starts hating them, جَفَاهُمْ he starts taking retribution and revenge. وَإِذَا جَفَاهُمْ صَارَ شَيْطَانًا رَجِيمًا And when that happens, he becomes a cursed devil, shaitan. So it starts from one and eventually it ends somewhere beyond comprehension. Sulaiman ibn Abdul Malik used to say, when Humayd al-Tawil came to him, Idhni, please give me advice, please give me advice. And this should be our ambition whenever the ulama, the mashayikh come, then we are avarice and desirous for the advice and the nasahi of deen. So he said, Ya Amir al-Mu'minin, in kunta asayt Allah, if you decide you want to disobey Allah and you think annahu yarak, that you believe that Allah is watching me, فَكَدِ اجْتَرَأْتَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّنْ عَظِيمٌ You are bold on the great Allah. You are bold to know Allah is watching you and yet you disobey Him. وَإِن كُنْتَ تَظُنُّ أَنَّهُ لَا يَرَاكَ And if you believe that Allah is not watching you and you're going to get away with it, فَقَدْ كَفَرْتَ بِرَبِّنْ كَرِيمٍ Then you have refuted a great, noble, magnificent Rabb. You've done kufr, you've rejected Allah. So either ijtara'ta ala rabbin azim aw kafarta bi rabbin kareem. So we need to be having this awareness that every movement I make, every word I say and utter is monitored by Allah. Otherwise shaitan and nafs are there to take us down. And we need to draw the tawfiq from Allah. Without it, we are destroyed. So shaitan, we never can put anything by shaitan and nafs. A college boy went to deliver a pizza. He had a part-time job. So the delivery was to an old man. So when he gave him the pizza and collected the money, and the old man said, I suppose you want a tip? He said grumpily. So the boy said, it would be much appreciated. But the other delivery person told me that I shouldn't expect anything from a stingy, grumpy old man. He said, did he say that? He said, yes. 
but uh, I don't take him seriously. You look like somebody that's quite generous and, and, and very uh, happy-go-lucky. So, and he said that I would even get a quart out of you. I'll be lucky if I get a quart out of you. The old man was hurt, injured. He said, let's prove him wrong. Yes, five dollars. Yes, five dollars. So he said, thank you very much. You'll help me for my school fund. So the old man asked him, what are you studying? He said, applied psychology, applied psychology. So Shaitan has got all the degrees, he's got all the qualifications more than the people of the dunya. Nafs is very cunning. So we have to be cautious on this journey to Allah. So Hidayat is a need, it is a great need and that's why we are asking for Hidayat. Ulama say, yet we say, Ya Allah, give me Hidayat, give me Hidayat, when we already have Hidayat. فَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ مُحْتَاجْ إِلَيْهَا فِي كُلِّ نَفْسٍ In every nafas, في كل نفس, in every breath, in every moment, we are in need of Hidayah. Every blink of an eye, we are in need of Hidayah. So since this is such an important ingredient, and we don't want to be from Maghdub Alayhim, not those who Allah's anger is on, and Dalin, those that are astray. So the masala of Hidayat is a great masala. And the heart is the door, the channel. And taqdeer. So ulama say it's a'adhamul ni'ma. The greatest bounty is Hidayat. Wa a'adhamul musiba ad-dalala. And the greatest calamity is being astray. So that's why we need to ask for this bounty. And Hidayat is what ulama say, al-ilm bil-haq wa fihi That to know the truth, so many people are not exposed to the truth. They have a lot of knowledge, but not the knowledge, the true knowledge of nubuwa. wa raghba fiha and to be inclined to that as well. So many people know, they know the truth, but they do not act on their knowledge and give preference to that. So, Hidayat, a great commodity. Ulama have said there are seven types of Hidayat. So when we're asking for Hidayat, we need to know what we're asking for. Hidayatul Wijdan Al-Fitri. So the natural temperament, the natural disposition, which Allah guides His creation. Whether it's a baby that the baby is born and knows it has to cry when it needs milk, and the procedure of taking milk, etc. How a, a child knows who the mother is and uh, the knowledge of different creations of Allah. So whether it is animals, whether it is uh, insects, whether it is the minerals, whether it is the different creations of Allah. And Mufti Shafi explained that you might say that minerals doesn't have any life, it is any without any ruh, it is inanimate, it does not have life. So how does that uh, link to this here? So he explains that everything has the hawas and senses. Everything is making the tasbih of Allah. It has a life in its form, but we cannot understand it. So how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, guides different creatures, different creations of Allah, whether it's a spider and how to weave a spider web, how to make a, a, a house, a home, how birds to fly, the silkworm, how to make silk, a chicken, how to lay eggs, how to hatch the eggs, a snake, how to hibernate, different creations of Allah, which Allah has created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches these creations. And thus is that perception, a bee, how to make honey. So, الَّذِي أَعْطَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلْقَهُ ثُمَّ هَدَى So Allah gave everything its distinctive form and then guided it. 
So there's no university that these animals go to and they study the different processes. But this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To sabbihu lahu samawatu sabba. The heavens, the earth make this be. Walakin la tafqahuna tasbihahum. But we cannot understand the tasbih. So they, they, they understand, they have a purpose. Allah placed the amana and offered the amana in the heavens, the earth. They refused, they refused. So they have this hista sense, but we cannot, we, we do not have the knowledge for that. Likewise, Sulaiman could speak to the different creations and communicate with them as well. Likewise, if you look at it, when Nabi Ali Salam went for Ma'raj and uh, when he reached the heavens, he heard the heavens making tasbih. And Abdullah ibn Masood rewired in Bukhari, Kuna nasma'u tasbih at ta'am. We could hear the tasbih, the dhikr of the food. Likewise, the pebbles. The tasbih, Sahaba heard it. So different narrations showing that there is some fo life form, but we are ignorant to that. Number two, Hidayatul Hawas wal Mashair. So the senses where it becomes advanced and progresses, some senses, pro so Allah's creation, some progress differently. Look at the, the human child, how many years of need and necessity and to reach the ultimate where they are independent, where there's other creations when they are born they can start walking, after so many days they can fly etc. Some of them Allah has made the eyesight more vivid, more advanced. So different creations, they, they, their senses are optimized. Number three, Hidayatul Aql, then intelligence. Allah has granted different creatures, creations, different forms of intellect and intelligence. And uh, that's why in zoos people are marvel about chimpanzees and monkeys because they have certain form of intellect. But there's, there's different levels of intellect, different levels of communication which man is still studying out there, which is in the ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the greatest intellect and intelligence has been given to insan and jinnat. But insan surpasses jinnat as well. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ So Allah given, has given honor to this insan. And Allah had given him much virtue. وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ مِّمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْضِيلًا And Allah has given him virtue over many of the creations. So the Mufassirin, Allama Qurtubi has mentioned details of the, the fasir of what virtue Allah has given this insan. Some mufassirin explain that one is the surah and appearance. One is he can travel in the oceans, he can travel in the sky, etc. by planning and uh, inventions. Likewise, Allah has given him virtue over the foods, the clothing. So each animal may be restricted to one food. We've got various foods, various clothing, various opportunities to, to enjoy the na'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this vast array of bounties. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored them with the opportunity to eat with their own hands, otherwise other animals Allah has made it, they'll have to eat with their mouth directly. They do not have hands which are engineered with so much perfection. Other Mufassirin have expressed that bin Nutq, the, the favor to speak, to communicate, to differentiate, to, to identify. Other ulama explain, Allah has given people Anbiya. So each nation had a Nabi for guidance. Specifically this Ummah has been granted the, the greatest gift of having Nabi as, as a Prophet. 
Some have said that ikramu rijal billuha, that giving men beards is a favor, and women have long hair. Others have said that they've been favored over other creations because they can control other creations. Whether it is the, the non-life entities, entities, we can control lead, steel, fire shops, airplanes, etc. We can control bigger creations than us like elephants, camels, stronger than us. We can even catch lions and tigers and control them. So others have said that it is this intellect itself, this aqal. So different ulama have given different interpretations. Others have said it is the deen, the deen, the intellect which has given us and the deen which Allah had favored them with because this is the greatest favor. So Allah has perfected our creation. They say that uh, Ibn Arabi has mentioned about Isa bin Musa al-Hashimi and he was a person who was madly in love with his wife Yuhibbu zawjatahu hubban shadeedan So in his love for his wife one day he looked at her and he was marveled and he said Anti talik thalathan illam takuni ahsana min al-qamar If you are not more prettier and beautiful than the moon then three talaqs divorce. So she became very worried and concerned. She stopped coming in front of her husband. He realized that uh, he made a big mistake. So he went to Mansur at that time in Baghdad who was the ruler. So Mansur summoned the jurists and the fuqaha and the story was presented to them. So most of the scholars said that uh, it's obvious the moon's beauty compared to his wife, who's going to compare and who's going to decide that if his wife is pretty or not? It's a matter of opinion, but the moon, everybody can bear testimony to the beauty of the moon. So one scholar was there, he said, I think so, you have erred. So he said, how, how, how have we erred? He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that لَقَدْ خَلَقَنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ That this insan, we have created him in the best of forms, and وَلَا شَيْءَ أَحْسَنْ مِنْهُ وَلَوْ كَانَ الْقَمَرُ That uh, even though it may be the moon, there's no, nothing more beautiful than this insan. So Mansur was elated and he asked the ulama and they agreed to that. That definitely Allah has created this insan from the breast of creation, the best of forms, even better than the moon. So the man went away quite happy. And Mansur sent a message to tell your wife also she's more beautiful than the moon. Next time don't do this. Number four, he died Dalala wal Irshad, that guidance onto the straight path, the Sirate Mustaqim, Najdain. That a person to be guided on the straight path, to be have Iman, this is a great bounty of Allah. وَإِنَّكَ لَتَهْدِي إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ وَلِقَوْلِ قَوْمٍ هَادٍ Allah sent Anbiya alayhimu salatu wa salam as a means of guidance. So they went وَأَمَّا ثَمُودٍ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ The Nabi came through the Nabi. There was an opportunity to be rightly guided. فَاسْتَحَبُّ الْعَمَىٰ عَلَى الْهُدَىٰ But they chose, they chose blindness to be blind of this guidance. And that was their opportunity to be rightly guided. And they chose the contrary. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُذِلَّ قَوْمًا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَاهُمْ حَتَّى يُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ So the guidance, the, the, the choice came to them. And then opportunity to choose a diet or to go on the contrary. Number five, he died to Tawfiq, that to have guidance, to be rightly guided in the straight path, that is Tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهِ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَى So a person has he got Iman, but Tawfiq now to read Salah. A person got Tawfiq to read Salah, but Tawfiq to read Salah with Jamaat. You have Tawfiq to read Salah with Jamaat, but you have Tawfiq to go learn the Masail of Salah. 
you got Tawfiq to read, uh, the, to learn the Masail from ulama, but you have Khushu concentration. So Tawfiq upon Tawfiq upon Tawfiq, that is a favor of Allah. Fathu al-qalb wa al-inshira' al-sadr, for the heart to be opened and for the chest to be guided. Laysa alayka hudahum, and this is nobody's choice, but the favor of Allah. Malum Musa Palim Buddha Rahmatullahi once went for Gashti, came across a house which, which a person was an alcoholic, he made Tashkir join us in the path of Allah. So he said, no, I'm, I cannot leave my hair. But so Mawlana wa Hikmat agreed with certain terms and conditions that you can do it only this time of the night, etc, etc, this quantity, it should not affect. So he had a list of conditions, the person agreed. He came to the masjid at that time at night, he came, took permission from Mawlana and uh, Mawlana gave him permission. The next night at that very time, Mawlana waited, but that person did not come at all. So, since he did not come, Mawlana was worried. He went and he heard him crying in the masjid, in the darkness of the night. That, Ya Allah, my example to these people is like the dog of the Ashab Kaf. Ya Allah, like how you will put the dog into Jannah and you gave them that beautiful company and you protected the dog and you preserved the dog. Ya Allah, you protect me and preserve me as well. So 24 hours in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah gave him hidayat. So tawfiq is from Allah, we need to draw this tawfiq. So that is the fifth form of hidayat. The amal for today is that we should give our old clothes in charity. If a person, Allah gives him new clothing, Hazrat Umar once received a garment and he gave the old one away and he narrated the narration. Man labisa thawban jadid and you wear new clothes and you read the dua. Alhamdulillahi alladhi kasani ma waribi awrati wa atajammalu bihi fi ayati. You read this dua and a person gives away his old clothing in charity. Kana fi kana fi Allah, you are under the wing of Allah, wa fi hifzillah, under the protection of Allah, wa fi sitri Allahi hayyan wa mayyitan, and under the protection of Allah whilst alive and dead. May Allah give us tawfiq. Of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.